Um, you know, this isn't going to be like a, um, you know, Shatner roast, but it'll be <laughs> kind of a, um, you know, we have, we, what I would like to call a very uh, special crowd here this evening to celebrate Janine's milestone birthday. Yeah. Yes, that's all it. Right. I'm getting my nerves so, out. So, all of you here have a very special relationship with Janine, and Janine, and oh, all, and and, I, and I thought it would be appropriate to start with the folks that know her the better than the longest, <laughs> and I would start with my dear si older sister. In law. Not in law. In law. But no, no, she's well, like, like uh, she's like my she's not the big sister to me. And um, I'll start with Angela and I'd ask Angela to say a few words and take it away. Okay. I thought about this. He just called me yesterday about this, but I thought about it. And I said, Okay, let me talk about my relationship with Janine and how it's evolved. Okay? So I know no, Janine take two minutes. since September 11th, 1965 at 11.43 p.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's when she was born. And immediately she was my baby doll because I was 10 years old and I took her for walks and I was so proud to show her off because my girlfriend had a baby sister 10 months older than her. So she was my baby doll. And then when I was in high school, she became the mascot for our basketball team. And then when I started work in the city, Janine and her girlfriend would don their highest heels and come into the city, right, and meet me for lunch. She thought she was the cat's meow, but she really looked like Hazel. <laughs> she had no idea how to walk in heels, all right? Okay, then things got a little nasty, because as I got older, I was smoking pot. Oh, that she's living in the slums, and I pull out my favorite chair from Moonstruck. Snap out of it! <laughs> so I got even. But then, as time go on, and Janine grew up, and she moved out of the slums, we became friends. It is dangerous. <laughs> We've always been friends, but you know, our lives took different paths, but always connected because we had mom and dad as as the as the glue that kept us together. And then mom and dad left like five months apart, and we didn't have that home anymore. Oh. And I realized that each one of my sisters was home to me. So to me, seeing you. And being with you, and every time I'm with you or Diane or Ro, is bringing me home, mm -hmm. because you are the only three that know what home was like to me. Right. Yeah. So Janine, it's your night. So tonight. Yeah. 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 
Thank you.